this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Delix video. I'm going to be focusing on unlocking Trudge and maybe Bruno. We will see on Bruno. He might be safe for next part. But, yeah. So far, I've got two characters I can unlock. And if I want to unlock any more, well, I have to progress stages. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I've almost done all the unlock missions I can for the time being. And I decided to do them because I was being lazy. That, that is the most interesting logic I've ever come up with. Okay, well, like I said in my last video, Trudge is basically a similar deal as what I was dealing with, um... Kaylin, and I believe Tetsu actually gets better. Like, he has a history of being an awful person, and he gets better. I mean, I mean, I think this is actually, I mean, he doesn't look like the version that, um, that was at the beginning of Five Days, but we'll see what his dialogue is like. Yeah, we'll see what his dialogue is like. I want to know because it'll tell me a lot about where they pulled this charge from oh hold on I wasn't able to read that um okay Inter oh my god dude well what does it do um this card well, it doesn't say anything terrifying. Actually, I think I know this card. I think I've used it. Alright. I special summon this card. I hope I do not regret it. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue on the same general path that I was doing with Kaylin. Basically, meaning that I had to do basically the same shit. So, um, I have to do all that again. I don't necessarily like that, but, you know. It is what it is. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. You know, there may be characters I don't like that are in this game. But... I can play each and every one of them and max out each and every one of them if it means all the gems. Yes, that's right, if it means all the gems. Okay, well, it is my turn. I need a single monster. That is not a single monster. Okay, well... I am waiting for that secret monster to show up. And now it doesn't look like his deck is as brutal as Kaylin's. Which makes a lot of sense because he's... Well, he's not evil. He was more just a terrible person. That's it. He wasn't evil or anything. Like, this is, this is supposedly the same guy that picked on Yugi a long time ago. And I'm just like, you really want me to believe that? You really want me to believe that? Are you kidding me? But then I'm like, um, well, actually, now that I've had a lot of years to think about it, it's not that unusual for people to get better. I mean, I wonder how many people bullied me but when they got older, they stopped bullying people. And they became better. Like, there are people that just become better over time. And actually, I was one of them. I wasn't exactly a bully. I was just someone that I didn't really... I wasn't really the best of people in the past. And yeah, that was... And that was because I was dealing with a lot of shit. But, I mean, that doesn't excuse what I did. 
And now, what did I do exactly? Well, well, um, I think I was doing, I'm not sure if I want to say, because there are some words that I will not use anymore. Like, there are words that I've known for using in the past that I've stopped using entirely. And, um, I think that a lot of what I was dealing with was just pain. And, and I just got better because of, because once the pain went away, I was able to more easily adjust it to being a better person. And now, obviously, I can still be pretty brutal. And if you want to know the answer as to why, well, that's actually a very simple thing to answer. Um, it is because it is because I've got a shadow side just like everyone else. It's true that I'm not a bad person anymore. Although, it is debatable if I was ever a terrible person, if we're being honest. But regardless, um, okay. What? Okay, okay, sure. But, you know if you attack that monster, you take- Okay. I don't like what he just did. He may not be as brutal, but, um, he still- Dude, you destroyed one of my favorite monsters. But I think I'm summoned twice, so why- Well, it's not a big deal. I synchro summoned once. I synchro summoned two times. That was like the hardest thing against Kaylin. But I did it here to, just fine. So it's not a problem. Okay, well, I can definitely say that I don't like this. Okay, well. In any case, I, uh. I definitely still think it's debatable if I was ever a bad person, but I actually have my reasons for thinking that I was. And a lot of them have to do with the fact I was miserable, pretty much. I used to be very envious and hateful and bitter and, um, and a lot of that meant that a lot of my shadow qualities were my normal personality and I just hid I just hid the darker stuff and I wasn't able to hide everything successfully just some things okay well I'm gonna secret summon again so I, I summon a third time yeah that's right I'm secret summoning a third time That's actually amazing. Well, yeah, that's three times. Like, how many cards are left in my- How many secret monsters do I have left? Oh, that's my entire secret up. Dude, how the hell would I summon this? Well, obviously, I would need a level 1 tuner and a level 1 monster. Okay, well, he's running out of cards in his deck. I'm not really sure there's much point in continuing this duel. I mean, I could just... Oh, actually, I'm going to um, summon this card again. Because I remember that I have to summon it twice against him. So, um, there is that. And now I remember I have to do effect damage against him as well. But I'm working on that. I'm working on it. And I have to use four traps. Yeah, I've got to do this shit. And I finished him off with Stardust Dragon, interestingly, interestingly enough. I don't even remember if I'm supposed to do that. But I did it. 
And I secret summoned a total of three times. So, I still ended the duel with two six. Oh, wow. Super rare. Dude, characters that I think would not be nice to me. Wow. Okay, um, let me see. Um, I've done two of these. Obviously, like, the ones that I said were pretty, um, pretty typical, obviously. And now, um, I have to deal 4,000 or more points of battle damage with a single attack. That's the only difference, really. Oh, I see. The effect damage is with a single effect. Not that difficult to do. And inflicting 4,000 or more points of battle damage isn't either. Especially with Axe of Despair in my deck. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, but 4,000 points of battle damage. But let me take a look at what I've got. Like, I want to see if there's any issues there. Because there may actually be some. I should be honest. Okay, um. Let's see. There's this card. Yeah. There aren't many things I can do to get to 4,000. But I've got these metal morphs. So I don't really know if I need. I'll deal with it if it ends up as the last thing I have to do. We will see, but, um, if there is a problem, I know a very easy way to get that, to get that done. Pretty much it, it depends. Well, anyway, so the 2,000 points of battle damage has to be done with one single effect activation. Which is very, very easy, but I wish I didn't have to depend on a single card for that. And 4,000 battle damage. Well, I think I should probably work on that fourth traps. Yeah, I want to work on those. Okay, well, I summon Chainsaw Insect. And we are, we are ignoring the end. It's almost 30 minutes until 1. I'm going to be, I'm going to be interrupted by, by the event continuing. I'm sure there will be a lot of dialogue and I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up being interrupted. It's going to be hilarious. But I still want to finish these missions before I work on the event. Okay, um, I probably shouldn't be attacking with Chainsaw Inset, but I do want to make sure that he doesn't use anything. Okay, I apparently forgot how that effect works, how that card works, but I was still prepared. Okay, well, I have to activate three more traps, which is preferable, I think, to just focusing on doing a bunch of battle damage. And, uh, I definitely have to be careful here. Now, um, I'm just glad that there's a card in my deck that makes it easy to do effect damage. Okay, well, I'm going to do this. Dude, I really do not have many monsters in my deck. And that will quite tribute. I could put a tribute monster in my deck. 
I think I could get away with the blue eyes strategy. I mean, that's, that is a very easy strategy to use when you want to do 4,000 points of battle damage in one attack. But that is a very easy strategy to pull off. Okay, well. Now let me think real quick. Um, 3,000 and 3,000. Metal Morph, the two Metal Morphs and Axe of Despair are enough to do 4,000 points of damage and Chainsaw Insect. But I would need, and again, I would need all, I would need two Metal Morphs on the field and I would need Axe of Despair. And if you ask me, that's not, that's not likely to happen. The odds aren't bad, but you definitely aren't looking at some impressive odds. Let's just say that. It can be very tough to pull off something like that. And now, I do think that unlocking Trudge is, is easier. Obviously, I am reliant on one card for the effect damage, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, it's just a matter of doing them over and over until I get what I want. And when you do people at the gate, that's everyone's main strategy for leveling up anyway. And I honestly... I honestly went to um, rank the link to level up Kaiba instead because I didn't want to level up at the gate. But when I heard that everyone seems to, when when I heard that's normal, I'm just like, well, I do get more wins at the gate, so it's I can understand why people do that, and I think it makes more sense than what I'm doing. Okay, well, I'm going to end my turn. Well, that's not the problem of that card being in my way. I was, I did not put it there for tries to do that, but sure. Okay, well, the, here's a trap I can activate. I've activated one trap. So this will be the second trap that I activate. Since I do need to keep the other things I'm trying to do. I have to keep those in mind. And now I, I don't know if I actually need these counterfeits against Fudge. And now I might against Bruno, so I'm keeping them. So I'm keeping them. Okay. Well, I'm going to activate this trap. Okay, now there are two traps that I've activated. And now I end my turn. Discard from your hand. These control gates are pretty useless. I mean, Trudge's deck isn't that strong. Dude, you're leveling, you're almost decked out. Okay, well, that's not good. Well, okay, that's not something I wanted. But I did sort of contribute because of using Chainsaw Insect. Um, can I at least get two more traps first? Apparently not, is what I'm getting. By the way, I did not actually obtain that information. Okay, well, I guess you could, you could argue that I did. Okay, um, I'm using Lightning Vortex for no reason. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's right, I, for no reason. And, um, I need that Chainsaw Insect off the field. Alright. Well, I don't really have anything 
Uh, uh, well, he has two cards left to draw. And he set a card. Okay. I draw. It. Okay, well, I didn't get what I wanted. And I definitely didn't get. I didn't do much. I did not do much. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. It's not as painful to go against him. Although it was definitely more exciting to watch me freak out over Kaylin. Like, I mean, to be fair, there, there is something very appealing about watching a YouTuber freak out. I mean, people enjoy that from Arca. People enjoy that from Markiplier all the time, apparently. I don't watch him myself, but I do know that he plays some terrifying games. Games that I would never play myself. Okay, well, my, sh my skills are apparently not sharp enough. But what I do? Oh, I did. Wait, really? Okay, well, that's interesting. I may have misread the requirements on that one. Okay, so the effect damage and the battle damage are left. Well, the blue eye strategy is what I'm going to do. I think it is a good strategy for getting in that battle damage. Now, is it necessary? No. But I'm looking at all these cards and the fact that I've got no tribute summons. And I'm like, um, I can fix that. I can fix that quite easily. There is nothing wrong. Yeah, I can fix that easily. Okay, um, I'm just going to, hold on a second, I'm going to take out one counter I know, I'm going to take out two of them, I'm going to put them back in later, but for now I'm going to uh, get polymerization, yeah I need polymerization. And now I'm going to put a fusion monster in my deck. Because obviously that's what you use polymerization for. Okay, well why would why would I I'm not sure it fits in this deck. There are so many cards in this deck that don't require tributes that I don't really think I can justify it. Okay, I'm gonna take out an enemy controller. And I'm going to put in this card. Yeah, this card, I'm just gonna put it there. Uh, so, if there's, so yeah. I mean, I'm surprised I'm taking out an enemy controller for this. But, I mean, I think it's better that I do it like that. Okay, so dragons. Give me a second while I look for those. But I need to find polymerization first. I only need one polymerization. So if I draw it, then I'm good to go. But I am not going to use any ancient rules in this because I don't believe I need them. And honestly, I would rather just, I would rather I didn't use them. Because this deck, it, it's just so easy to tribute something. Okay, give me a second. Now, um, I'm putting this card in the deck. But I can also put this card in the deck. If I happen to have three blue-eyed monsters in my hand. 
that might be better, honestly, considering that Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon actually has the attack on its own. But that is the wrong card. But that is the wrong card. I don't have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, apparently. So, this is what I've got. And my logic was destroyed with, um, was destroyed with proper consideration for the fact that I was indeed wrong. Okay, so my strategy for dealing the damage is Blue Eyes White Dragon. And the effect damage, well, not good, but I mean, it'll get the job done eventually. It'll get done eventually. So, um, I'm coming back to the gate. So I can finish off what I still need to do. So, yeah. I think this is, um... I think this is Trudge after he's changed. I mean, just how he talks to you, say right there is pretty much proof enough. And now, Trudge at the beginning of Five Days was a total douche. Uh, but obviously, any douche that becomes redeemed, well, they obviously become redeemed for a reason. Like, um, it's not something they choose to do on their own. Own usually. They usually have some other reason. Although I think maybe Trudge was just doing his job. I don't know. I just remember him being a complete ass. But that's what I remember. I don't remember much else. But aside from being a complete ass, I remember him having a I don't remember the woman's name, but, uh, sort of reminds me of Chaz's crush on Luxus, only not as suffocating. Chaz, we do not need to know about your crush on Luxus every two minutes. Um, okay, well, it's, my turn is over. My turn is over. Okay, well, I'm surprised that I am still... I have been recording since 5. 5 p.m., which is around 6, 7 hours. I don't know the exact amount. But considering how my day started, you would not have expected me to sit down in front of this computer and record all of these videos. But that's how my brain apparently works. Like, it'll, it'll be in one mood and then change again. And I've been told to consider why that might be happening. Because of the fact that I'm... Because of the fact that I'm, that I'm discussing my moods as if they are sort of dual. dual like, um... Basically, I describe my moods in a two-sided fashion. That doesn't make any sense, but basically, I describe my mo moods like I have two moods. And I've been told to consider if I may have something else instead of, um... Like, I've been told that maybe this is the cause of something else. Maybe talk to a professional. I have not done that. Because I don't think that I've got any reason to think that. Dude. Well, I definitely understand the concerns. But I've seen a professional often enough to be sure that I know that I've got no problems. I've got depression. I don't have bipolar disorder. 
I know, I know that it may seem weird how I describe my two moods, but that is more of a joke. This is not good for me. My card has been... Um, I don't have any back row removal in this deck. I should probably use some tickets on back row removal. Although I do have cards that can do that. Okay, well, that's... This is why I've got this, by the way. Um, I guess I should put this in defense position. I mean, I don't want to take any damage as a result of my reduced attack. But is this a thing with all my monsters? Man, this is just a pain. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, let me do the math. Okay, I, I've survived. Do I have any monsters, please? Oh, thank God. Well, he's definitely not a pushover. Easier than K1, but he, he can definitely be a challenge. I feel like as a new player that's only been playing since August, it would be very difficult to do some of these. But I don't actually feel like that's true. I just feel like I imagined the difficulty. Yeah, I feel like I imagined it. I mean, to be fair, what I'm dealing with right now is actually not that tough. And a lot of what I call difficult is just something that, well, I can do it with the right cards. And it doesn't necessarily mean that something is or just because I think it is for one or two minutes. Well, like, I've seen how people play the game, and I still have difficulty seeing myself playing at that level. But that doesn't change that, uh, I might be able to one day play at that level. Maybe it's just a matter of time before I get to there. Although if I became that good, I'd be very surprised. Because it's not something I expect. Okay, well... I'm supposed to be doing effect damage, and I'm also supposed to, um... Well, first the effect damage has to be with one single effect activation. Which I can only do with one specific card. Which, the effect, I mean, the attack is different. The effect, the, the effect is different. Like, well, I, I can summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. I chose to Synchro Summon it, oh, I mean, I chose to summon it over a Synchro Monster. Okay, I attack you. Um, I do not appreciate that. Well, anyway, all I need is Axe of Despair. And preferably the one card that will, actually, it's probably not worth it. Give me a second. Interesting. Okay, well, all I need is Axe of Despair. Alright. I I do another Blue Eyes White Dragon. But I definitely, but it's not at 4,000, which is definitely what I am looking for in my Blue Eyes White Dragon. I am looking for a car I'm looking for something specific. Okay, well he doesn't have many cards left in his deck. 
And it's only a matter of time before I'm forced to finish them off. Okay, well, there's this card, which does the effect damage, but not enough. I mean, if he had, oh god. Well, it's not even at one effect damage yet. I mean, I haven't reached my next end by fight. My next stand by phase. Yeah, so I can do 1500, which I think is 500 less than what he needs. Kind of bad, if you ask me. And now, I think the chances are higher that I'll be able to at least use Axidus there. Th those are not good odds. Those are terrifyingly awful odds. Okay. Come on. Give that card to me. Well, blue eyes get so attack. Okay, well... What? I'm surprised you chose to get rid of that card and not my effect one. What? He's decked out! Oh, what were the chances? Yeah, what were the chances? Well, I'm going to Synchro Summon just to make sure that I can actually... I want to make sure that car does not mess me up. Okay, um... Yeah. So I can do 4,000 points of attack. And um, I can do the effect damage later. Like, I I'm not going to do that at the moment. Because I don't have... I can't do enough effect damage in one turn. Okay. If that is 4,000 points of effect damage. Alright, well, I think I'm going to take the Blue Eyes cards out of my deck now. I don't really need them there. I just put them there to make it easier for the attack to get through. An ultra rare. Dude! Wow. I mean, I'm just staring at the rarities. I'm not staring at my jolt. Okay. Well, I have one more thing I have to do. I have to inflict 2,000 or more points of effect damage with a single effect activation. And I think it is time to switch decks. You say, let me look at your deck slots. Okay, you've got a new, you've got a third one. So, I'm going to make you a new deck. This is going to make it easier to, uh, actually, it's going to make it easier for me to actually get that effect damage off. So, I'm going to put 20 cards in this deck. And now, what am I going to do with these? Well, first off, I think I would like to uh, put the Blue Eyes cards in my deck as a backup trap. Like, it is just a Blue Eyes. I mean, it is just a strategy. If it comes to needing it, it's not really a strategy for anything else. It's just if I need it. Which, um, I hope I don't. But, I mean, just in case, I do. The strategy is there. I said I was going to put 20 cards in this deck, and I am. But, um, yeah, well, I'm going to put ancient rules in the deck. I'm going to put three of them in there. Since I happen to have three on hand. 
So, these are the ancient rules I've got. I'm actually not going to put any traps in this deck because I don't think I've got the room. So I so I'm going to see if I can get it to ten spells. Ten traps. Okay, um polymerization. I could use two of those. Just to increase my chances if I need it. And that's actually, well, I'm going to put some cards in my deck uh, that will hopefully be helpful. Um, I have no idea how I feel about the, about the ratios here. No idea how I feel at all. Do I need that, do I need all of those ancient rules? Probably not. Okay, give me a second. I had to make sure that all my that the cards at the top are have the highest attack possible. I want level fours everywhere. Okay. And now I'm looking around here. I mean, I'm just trying to find something that that will stay alive. That's it. Okay, well, I've got a lot of traps. Okay, what am I supposed to do again? Oh, right. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to stay alive is what I'm trying to do. Okay, well, this is this makes it very difficult to be sure of what I'm doing. Oh, let's just be honest here. I'm going to put a hammer shot in the deck. And then I'm going to reconsider my ratios. Because I do not think that my ratios are are good. Um, did I get, yeah, I got something wrong. Uh, there are no levels with spells. Okay. Remove. I got it, okay. Um, I don't need this card. I don't really think I need a, a third ancient rules, but I'm just looking at this like, the potential is real. I mean, just saying the potential is fair. Like, I could make use of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to look for the other monsters that are normal type. You know, those monsters I was using before. Those are actually pretty good. I mean, I know they're normal and all that, but that doesn't make them bad cards or anything. Okay, so this is 12 and 12. All right, well, this is better than it could be. I'll just be honest. But this is better than it could be. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to pick a skill. I'm going to, I'm going to set this one. Okay, and I'm going to save the deck. And I'm going to change the, oh right, the accessories are, I'm not changing the accessories, those are the ones I want. Okay, Trudge, I'm coming back for you. Now let me see. Okay, I've just got the 2,000 or more of points of effect damage. With a single effect activation. Um, yeah, we're going with this strategy. I know there are other ways of doing that. But I am very confident 
that my strategy is the way to go. Although I'm sure there are faster ways. We know that I am definitely pretty nuts. Obviously, I'm not nuts all the time. But I take this, um, I take this, I take this game very seriously. Apparently. Obviously, after I've done a bunch of character unlocks, oh wow, it's in my opening hand. Alright, well, I don't know what to do. I've got, well, I'm going to use some of this smashing ground. And I'm going to put this card on the face down. Because I do not trust that card he put face down. Yeah, that was the card I thought it was. I baited him into destroying a card that... I, was, I baited him into destroying a card that... That I honestly didn't care as much about. Okay, so this is going to do 2,000 more points of effect damage. I know I need to survive four turns, which shouldn't be that difficult. What is difficult, though, is he still has that one card. That one card that can pack a punch. Okay, but as soon as I do all the effect damage, I can just use it right there. 2,000 points of damage. I know I definitely have to be careful. I... I know there's back row removal, and I don't know how many of those dust tornadoes he has. So I have to be very careful. Very careful, indeed. Okay, polymerization. Nice. I can't use it though. Um, I for some reason thought I could, but that was bullshit. I could not. Alright. I think I need to use some tributes. Just saying that I do not trust. Yeah, I do not trust this guy at all. Like, like, I think he's out, what? Oh my god. If this is bad, I did something so dumb. But there is no redemption for this. There is no redemption for this. Although I do still have conversation in my hand, but there is no redemption for this world. That mistake cost me the duel. Which, honestly, I deserve it after how bad that was. Okay, well. I have, um, I am a better duelist. I just misplayed. Every duelist misplays every now and again. At least that's what I tell myself at night. It helps, it helps me sleep, okay? It helps me sleep. And now I just have 2,000 points of damage to do to you. Just 2,000 points of damage. That is it. Please. Just, just work with me here, okay? Work with me. I need that card back, but after what I did, I, I know I have to work for it. After what I did, I have to work for it. Uh, that is basically how I approach this, like, 
it's one of my opening hands and I misplayed and like dude there is no redemption for that I deserve to lose that that was a misplay and that pretty much I pretty much got what was coming to me yeah that's right I got what was coming for me and I believe that it was that the consequences were a necessary consequence because I should not be allowed to make stupid moves and get away with them. Okay. Well, I normal summon this card. And I'm going to try to wait on that card. I just need to do 2,000 damage to him. I just need to do that much. I just need that one card. And I... I know I need to do that one thing, but... It still drives me crazy. It still drives me crazy. Yeah, it does. I'm going to be interrupted soon. So I might have to end the video like prematurely. I don't really want to be interrupted. I kind of like to just... I have to let that card be destroyed. Okay, well... Since that card has been destroyed, oh yes. I got it back. Although, he hasn't used dust on it yet. Um, I didn't have to say that. D universe, I, universe, that is not, that is not, no, no, that is not, that's not a challenge, please. And yes, I do talk like the universe can um, hear me. I mean, after what I've been through, you would too. Okay. I'm not trying to take you out just yet. I need the effect damage to take you out. And then after this, I'm just going to end the video after unlocking Twitch. I know I wanted to start off with um, I know I wanted to finish off Bruno, but there's no way in how I'm doing that. You, you know that I'm going to continue that. You know I am continuing that event. Okay. Alright. Well, just th two more turns. Two more turns. And then it'll be just a single effect. Just 2,000 damage. I can do it. I can wait. I will get lucky. Just please, please, universe, don't let him draw that card. Just one more standby phase, and I can use this. Please. Okay. I even got an axe of his spare. Dude, I didn't even notice that he flipped that card face down. 2,000 points of effect damage. And by the way, I would like to finish you off with Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Alright. Well, was I successful or what? Okay, well I I need this to be a neat a neat thing. I will be go I will go batshit if I just I mean, I know that some people just edit videos and all that. 
And that's all fine and good, but, um, I don't really, you know, I never did do any right rules. I don't think I need them. I should be careful when I say that. I don't know what the event has for me. Well, it seems everything here is in order. So I'll return to New Domino City. Huh? Hello, this is Trite. No, Chief, nothing out of the ordinary. I was about to head back to HQ. Uh huh? Stay in Dolings and continue my investigation? You don't need me to come back? What? How many shifts in a row are you making me work? Hello, Chief? Hello? Sigh, unbelievable. But I guess if anything happens, I can't get them to add into this. It appears it's my duty to protect Jolinks. With the help of this card. Um, you're going to haunt me in my nightmares. Yeah, pretty much going to haunt me. I remember that card like I was just into help yesterday. Criminals, your days are numbered. Yeah, sure. Can be used by setting a skill that you obtained by leveling him. Okay. Well, that's fine and all that. But it's past 1 a.m. So, if I go to GX World, everything should continue. So I'm going to work on Bruno later, and I'm heading back over to GX World. Besides, this is just a convenient place to end it. So guys, this is it for the current round of character unlocks. I think I should probably level up stages for the others, just so I have more than just Bruno to unlock. Because, as you can see, there is, there are a number of other duelists that still need to be unlocked. There is Rex Goodwin, there is Bruno, there is Luna, and there is Leo. And now, I have to duel as Leo 100 times to unlock Luna. So, she isn't going to be available for a long time. But if I do stage missions, then I'll eventually get Leo and Goodwin, so I'm going to get those so I can work on those while I work on, um, while I work on Bruno's. And Leo is going to give me help, but, you know, I'm sure I can handle those. So yes, I'm going to be back when I can unlock th those three. Basically, I just need Leo and Rex Goodwin. That's it. And Luna is last for obvious reasons. I mean, I guess it does depend, but I doubt that she's getting unlocked anytime soon. I'll just be honest. So, for now, that will conclude this video. I hope you are looking forward to my next one, which I'm also hoping is the continuation of the event. Anyway, guys, that's it. That is definitely it. Peace out. My next video is coming out soon. Peace out.